everyone. I'm Sarah Satch and welcome or welcome back to my crochet channel. Today's video I'm going to show you how to crochet our Christmas tree scrubber or scrubby and I love how it turned out and it's a lot easier than you think it is. It's basically stitched in single crochets always stitching in the back loop. So you get these nice ridges and indentations for a nice scrubby. The other really neat thing about this is this is stitched with Scrubology yarn, and we'll talk more about yarn in just a minute. But if you don't want it to be a scrubby and you would rather use it as, say, a washcloth or a dishcloth, you can stitch this up using two strands of any cotton yarn, and you'll get just about the same size of a scrubby it'll be a washcloth and then you'll have a scrubby and a washcloth and won't that make a nice Christmas gift for somebody now you can find all the information on how to make our Christmas tree scrubber or scrubby on my blog and as always I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video to make the scrubby I used Yarn B Scrubology Scrub It Yarn. I used red, yellow, white, and green. Now, this makes a nice size. It's about eight inches tall and about seven inches wide. And it's the perfect size, I think, for a scrubby. But if you don't want to use this yarn or you just don't prefer it, or you just have some cotton on hand you want to use up, it'll work just fine, but you'll need to hold two strands of yarn together if you're going to use the cotton. And for today's demonstration, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this pretty, sort of a light pine green. I've got a sparkle white and a regular white that I'm going to hold together for the background. I've got a little bit of yellow for the star. And then I've got some red I'm going to use on the edge. So I'm going to make it look similar. I'm just going to use two strands of cotton yarn held together. And you're going to need about an ounce of each color. And I know that's way more than you're going to need. I would say closer to half an ounce of the colors. But it just depends on how tightly you stitch. Okay? And remember, with the cotton, you're holding two strands together. And whether you're using the Scrubology or cotton, we're both using, or for both projects, we are using the J-hook, which is a 6.0 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle for weaving in ends and a pair of scissors. We're going to be starting down here with these white rows, and then I'll show you how to change colors for the green and white. And then the star is put on last. And once we get the white and green portion done, we'll add the red trim and then, of course, add that yellow star. All right, so I'm holding two strands of cotton together. We're going to begin with white, so I've got my white here, but I've also got my green ready. Now, there are two ways that you can do holding two strands of cotton together. I have two things of cotton, and I put them in my bowl there and I'm going to hold them together. With the green one, I have that huge skein of yarn, so I'm going to be pulling a strand from the inside and from the outside, all right? So I'm doing it two different ways. You can also use uh, roll it up into two balls, and then you'll have two balls of yarn to work with, or if you know you're gonna use a lot of it, you can make one ball with the two strands wound together. So there is lots of options there. It's kinda like whatever is more comfortable for you. Now we're going to begin with our white. We're going to make that slip knot and we're going to chain 16 chains. Now I do recommend that you chain this initial chain a little bit loose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get a little more yarn out here. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 chains. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to place a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. 
We never count the loop on our hook. So one, two, so we'll just go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through both loops. We'll stitch one single crochet in each of those chains across. And again, remember we began in the second chain from the hook and we're stitching one single crochet in each. We began in the second chain from the hook and we stitched one single crochet in each chain. So we have 15 single crochets. We're going to chain one and turn. We're going to be stitching row two in the back loops only. And if you look at your work, you'll see that there are loops on this side and loops on this side. We're going to only be stitching in these back loops. Our chain one does not count as a stitch, so we'll go right in that first back loop and stitch a single crochet. And then we'll stitch one single crochet in each of the back loops only, working all the way across. You'll know you're doing it correctly if you see that ridge right there because those are the stitches we didn't stitch in. I have completed row two, stitching one single crochet in each single crochet, working in the back loops only. Now, for this entire project of our rows, you're going to have 15 single crochets on each row, and we're going to be stitching in the back loops only on every row. Now, on row three, we're going to be bringing in our green to start forming the bottom of our Christmas tree. So what we're going to do is we're going to stitch one single crochet in the first two single crochets. So chain one and turn. We'll stitch one single crochet in the first one. Then we'll go to the next one and we'll begin our single crochet. We'll bring in our green that we're going to use for our Christmas tree. All right, we'll snug everything down. And now we're going to stitch over this and we're going to stitch a single crochet in our next single crochet. Again, working in the back loops only. And that's the way that you change colors. You begin, you begin with the color you were using and you finish that single crochet with your next color. That gives you a nice, neat color change. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to stitch one single crochet in the next 11 stitches. So this is one, so we need to stitch 10 more. And again, we're stitching in the back loop only and stitching over our yarn that we're trailing across. This way we're not cutting our yarn every time we change colors and you get a much neater appearance and a lot less weaving in. Now every now and then I sort of give that yarn just a little bit of a tug, not a hard one. We just want to make sure it's not drooping. And when you're working with two strands, you got to be careful not to drop one of your loops like I just did. There we go. All right, so now I'm to that 11th stitch. Let's make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and this one will be 11. There we go. Need a little more yarn. All right, so what you're going to do is you'll have two stitches left. And so we began our 11th stitch in our green. We're going to finish it with our white. 
we'll go ahead and drop that green and I just fold it over with my finger and then we'll stitch those last two single crochets in the back loops only and chain one and see how that looks we have two crisp single crochets over here we have 11 green ones and then two on the end if we would have went ahead and finished that this next loop here would be green and it wouldn't be crisp and the same thing here if we would have went ahead and finished our white single crochet here we'd have a white loop here and it wouldn't look nice and crisp all right so we have 11 in green and four in white which makes 15 single crochets stitched in the back loop only i have completed row three we have two crisp single crochets in white we have 11 crisp single crochets in the green and then the last two in white so you can see how that christmas tree is nice and crisp and that's the reason that we change colors the way that we do all right so we're going to chain one we're going to turn our work and basically for row four we're just going to repeat what we just did so we're going to single crochet in the first single crochet then we'll start our next one we'll pull our yarns to the back grab the green and finish that single crochet now remember we're going to stitch over this this is the back of our work so make sure you pull everything to the back we'll go into our first single crochet back loop only and stitch our single crochet now we'll make sure we grab those two strands of the white as we work across all right so now we're going to stitch one single crochet across and be careful when you're using two strands not to drop your loop and remember every row is stitched in the back loop only doesn't matter what color you're using and we're just going to work across just like we did on row three so I've stitched 10 of my green and I'm working on my 11th so I'm going to change back to my white we're going to drop our green so I'm going to bring it to the back and we'll stitch those two single crochets working in the back loops only just like we did on that previous row and chain one and this is the back of our work we're going to turn it over and this is the front and you can see that we have these ridges for making it into a washcloth or scrubby or dishcloth now we're ready for row five we're going to single crochet again working in those back loops only we're going to do three single crochets in the white so we're going to go ahead and do the two and then we'll do the third one and finish in our green and that's because we're going to begin tapering our christmas tree up to form that triangle shape all right so we're going to carry our white over we're going to go in the next stitch and stitch our green and we'll have a total of nine green ones so there's one two three four five it's more green out here six seven eight and nine and on our ninth one we're going to change back to our white we'll drop the green in the back 
and these last three stitches will be the white single crochets stitched in the back loops only. And chain one. All right, and so what we have is three single crochets, nine of the green, and then three of the white. And then what you'll do is you'll chain one, turn, and repeat what we just did. One single crochet in the first three, and on that third one, we'll bring our yarn to the back and change to our green, and then again, working in the back loops only, stitch one in each of those nine, and then three in the last three, just like we did on the previous row. So now after row six, you have three single crochets in the white, you have nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the green, and then three in the white. And now we're going to do row seven, and we're going to increase our white and decrease our green in stitches. All right, so again, working in the back loops only, we're going to stitch in the first four. One, two, three, and now we'll do our fourth one. We'll start with the white and end with the green and then trail our yarn across. There we go. So that was one, two, three, four. Oh, that white got a little tangled there. five, six, and here's our seventh. So we'll go in that back loop, pull up a loop, bring our white in and finish that stitch, and that leaves four that we're going to stitch in white. So we'll drop our green there and stitch the last four stitches in the white yarn. One, two, three, and four and chain one. Then what we'll do is we'll turn our work and repeat. We'll stitch four, seven, and four, just like we did on this front row. Always working in the back loops only. Bring our green back in, and then we'll stitch those seven stitches in green and the last four in white. So I completed row eight, which was a repeat of row seven, and you can already see the shape of that Christmas tree starting to form. And we have all these nice ridges on the front and the back for scrubbing or just texture. All right, let's do row nine. All right, so we've chained one, we've turned, and I do want to recommend that after your second row, your repeat, untwist your yarn, because that's what I was struggling with, is I did not untwist my yarn. And you want to untwist your yarn, or you will struggle with it, okay? It'll be clumsy. All right, let's do row nine. So we're going to have five single crochets in the white, stitched in the back loop only. So one, two, three, four, five, but we don't want to finish that fifth one, do we? Bring in our green to finish off our fifth stitch. Snug everything down. We're going to stitch over that yarn. All right, so now we're going to stitch 
five single crochets in the green. One, two, three, four, and five. We'll finish with the white, drop the green, and stitch one single crochet in those last five. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain one, and turn, and repeat. Five single crochets in white, five in green, five in white for row nine, and then we'll repeat that for row 10. So this is how your scrubby or washcloth looks at row 10. We have five single crochets in white, five in green, and five in white. Again, all stitched in the back loop only. All right, so let's do row 11. On row 11, we're going to have six single crochets in our white. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And again, we're going to finish with our green. And now we're just going to stitch three in the green. One, two, and three. We'll change to our white to finish our third one there. Drop our green and stitch the remaining six in white. There's three. Whoops, get through both those loops. There we go. And six. And chain one. All right, so now we have six in our white, three in our green, and six in our white. So we'll chain one, we'll turn, and repeat what we just did on row 11 for row 12. Six, three, and six, all stitched in the back loops only. So we completed row 12, which was a repeat of row 11, which gave us six single crochets in white, three in green, and six in white. All right, so we're gonna do this one more time with a green, all right? So now we're going to have seven single crochets in the white, again, working in the back loops only. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We'll finish with the green. We'll do one stitch in the green and finish with the white. Drop our green and then we'll stitch seven single crochets across. All right, then you'll chain one, turn, and repeat seven single crochets in white, one in green, and seven single crochets in white. And that will get us up through row 14. So now we completed row 13 and 14. We have seven in white, one in green, and seven in white on those two rows. Now we're finished with our green, so we're gonna cut that off. But before we do the next rows, I did wanna show you it does have a front and a back. And how you know the difference is where you joined back here 
you'll have this tail of yarn and that will tell you this is the back side of your work and we'll weave that in in just a minute but that's a good thing to know all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to stitch a row of single crochet all the way across in white for two rows like we did down here all right so we'll go right in that first stitch and stitch one single crochet in each of those stitches working all the way across again working in the back loops only We're not adding any more green. The shape of our Christmas tree is complete. All right, so I'm going to stitch one single crochet working in the back loops only all the way across, chain one and repeat back across. So now we're going to cut off our white and bring in our red for our trim. And I just do a real simple single crochet trim. All right, I'm gonna take that chain one out because we want to have our chain one in our red color or whatever color you want to use for your trim. All right, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more yarn so I can weave that in. And we're not going to stitch in the back loops only anymore. This is just regular single crochets across the top and we'll stitch one single crochet in each of the single crochets across. And again I'm using two strands of cotton yarn. I've stitched across the top stitching one single crochet in each single crochet across. Not back loop. When you get to the corner, you're going to single crochet, chain one, and single crochet in that corner. And now we're going to work evenly down the side. And when I stitch rows of single crochet, I try to do one single crochet in the end of each row. And make sure that you go in the side of the stitch and not the hole for a much neater appearance. All right, so we're stitching one single crochet in the side of each row. We'll stitch single crochet, chain one single crochet in the corner, and then we'll repeat that all the way back up and join to where we started. Just a simple single crochet edge trim. So I've evenly single crocheted all the way around, stitching a single crochet, chain one, single crochet in each corner. So here I am up here at this corner, here's a single crochet, chain one, and then I'm going to join to that first single crochet. Flip my yarn. I'm going to go in that next loop and pull the loop to the back. There we go. So the front of it looks nice and tidy. <laughs> now we have a little bit of weaving in to do, and then I'll show you how to add that star, and it's a very simple star but adds a nice little touch at the top of our tree. Our Christmas tree scrubby is all tidied up. Our ends are all weaved in. And so now we want to add that star. So you're going to need about, oh, 12 to 16 inches of yarn. Now I have twice that because I'm using the cotton and I'm double stranding. Okay, so we're going to come here at the bottom of that row where our one single crochet is. And we're going to come up here. Now when I do the cotton, I go ahead and just loop through that. When I do the other one, I don't do it that way. I just let it hang and weave it in later. All right. Now we're going to come over here and make an X. All 
and then we'll come up here. I guess that's a plus sign, isn't it? Now we're going to make an X. And this makes a nice, simple star and adds just a little bit of a fun touch to our Christmas tree. You don't want to add any buttons or baubles or anything on it because you don't want those things in the way scratch up pans and things when you're washing. All right, so now we're going to turn this over and we're just going to weave this in, making sure we don't go through to the front. And this part, you'll have a little bit of weaving in showing in the back. But for the most part, this washcloth is, can be used, and scrubby, of course, on the front and the back of our washcloth. You just want to make sure that's weaved in nice and secure so it can go through the wash. And if you're doing the scrubology, make sure you weave both those ends in. All right, so now our Christmas tree has a star. There we go. <laughs> so here are the two scrubbies. This one is made with the Scrubology yarn from Hobby Lobby. This one is made holding two strands of cotton together as we stitched it. And you can see this one's just a little bit smaller. This one runs about seven inches across and about eight inches long. This one is about six inches across and about seven inches long. It's just a little bit smaller, but it makes a really nice gift set to give to someone because they're getting a washcloth scrubby and a regular scrubby. If you want this one to be the same size, you can always add a row of white before you add your red, and they'll end up about the same size. I like them like this. They're fun, they're useful, and they have Christmas trees on them. <laughs>